Do you like flying? Well, let me tell you a story. When I started this gig back in 1988 of doing this television series, I was scared of flying. I'd have to have a couple stiff drinks to get on a plane in Victoria for the one hour flight on a nice jet to Calgary. And uh, I, I just didn't like it. I, I didn't like, uh, especially turbulence. Turbulence used to put me into a full sweat. Sometimes when you go to those Rocky Mountains and flying into Calgary too, you could get some really good downdrafts or whatever they're called and, and, that, and uh, you can feel quite a bit of bounce coming into Calgary. Never liked it. And then uh, I got flying with a lot of the bush pilots and of course the bush pilots um you know in the beavers and that uh they're they're and then and the otters especially the single engine otters they are really hard working they work on a hard schedule and uh, they're true pilots believe me because um they're not necessarily flying by instrument they're flying by their brain in other words you have to have a ceiling of at least 500 feet and you have to have good visibility and um uh, and that isn't easy on our on our west coast here, uh, especially for the bush pilots, or in Alaska, because weather can move around so quick, especially with all the mountains and the ocean, that uh, all of a sudden you cannot have a ceiling, and you're you're looking for a way out. And I've been in some experiences, and maybe I'll sh ex I'll show you some of these experiences that I went through in some later episodes. But it was all worth it, and uh, today I always look at it as part of the adventure. Now, one of the greatest adventures is helicopter fishing. Uh, people think it's very expensive, but if you go with half a dozen guys, you split it up, it's a pretty reasonable day trip, and uh, you can get into some pretty nice streams, especially if you're a steelheader, and, uh, or you like river fishing for salmon or whatever, or if you just wanna go for a tour. Uh, it's, it's really spectacular. You know, I don't like going on a carnival ride. I don't like, uh, you know, going on a Ferris wheel or a, if I don't like height. If I'm on the top of a balcony, I look over, I get vertigo, I got to step back. But a helicopter is altogether different. You sit in it and uh, you go up like an elevator and you move. And for some reason, it never bothered me at all. Uh, well, it did bother me a little bit because at one time I was fishing with Roy Vickers and Morris McNally, uh, McNally who... Uh, uh, was a pilot for Vancouver Island Helicopters. And this guy was a great pilot. He's, he's a great steelheader. As a matter of fact, he used to wear this old hat at an angle like this here. He never wore a helmet with, with uh, walkie-talkies or with radio. He just flew like a guy in a pair of blue jeans and a, a pair of boots and a cowboy hat, or not a cowboy hat, but a ball cap. And uh, so we're flying. And... Uh, uh, we left out of Tofino, and it was pretty freaky because uh, the weather, they said, was pretty bad. And uh, Morris said, well, we're going anyways. So we, we hopped on this bird. And my guest was uh, Roy Henry Vickers, a very famous West Coast uh, native artist. And, uh, and away we went. And of course, what you got to do is we were going over to the East Coast, basically. And uh, to start with, and uh, he's, he has to go over that range. So we're up fairly high, and we're up high, and he looks down, and he says, there's a river down there, and I could just see a little snake of a river. And boom, he started powering that helicopter down <laughs> toward the river, and it printed through, the G-force printed through my head against the uh, glass. Uh, but he was just trying to show us some excitement, right? I didn't like it at all. But we got into some fishing, and this is uh, what some of that fishing looked like. Uh, okay, let's go. Pretty spectacular. Look at that, not a thing. No take, no wiggle. Ooh. Oh, jeez! That's right, we're the same place, and I never touched them. Get in there, guy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about Ooh, now, right? Look at Shemorg. That's a nice drift. Right where Morris touched his fish. Right. I'm on! I'm on! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, thanks, Roy, for pointing this fish out to me here. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, that's the nice thing about a helicopter, eh? Is, is within a, within half an hour. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are the wild fish. Within half an hour, you can see in another in another river, in another, another fish river. Catch it. Here we are. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful spot. Beautiful hey, Morris. Get over here, buddy. I will. I'll uh, just <laughs> time <laughs> comes. I'll give you a hand with that thing tailing it. Uh, <laughs> well, you come on in here. That's a fight with that rod, eh? Yeah. I'm going to uh, stand in front of this willow clump here, or this yeah. group of ferns so it doesn't tangle up. That's a nice fish. <clears throat> That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these fish on these West Coast rivers, they just, they fight all together different. Like, they're, they're just completely wild. This is... Yeah, people don't... know the first time this fish has ever seen a hook. There's so many people that have never had this thrill. I mean, yeah. the majority of people even steelheaders, I've heard them say, it took me two years to catch my first steelhead. Yeah, yeah. How can you tell it's April, Roy? Look at that. April One second showers. is setting. And... Sun shining there. It's snowing there and raining here. Okay, Michael. The rainbow sun. <laughs> we're going to use that glove, Michael. <laughs> Michael Morris. We're going to change the name for Michael Morris. And what I'll do is I'll just get him up here on the beach, I guess. That'd be no, I'll be right here. I like to do them in deep water if okay. I can. Okay. You want to show that fish, too. Okay. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Just that easy. Yeah, just that easy. Okay. What a beautiful fish. This that had so much power, it blew a fuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look good. Anyway. Whoa. Oh, look, yeah. look at that rod shake. Cheers, look at that. Cheers. Shaking his head. This is really swimming around. He's really moving. Yeah. He's really moving. Ooh, look at the color on that thing when it flashes under that water, eh? There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the sound of music. <laughs> that is hey, uh, Roy, can we tell the people, the viewers, uh, what river we're on? We're going to impress upon people the beauty of a, of a river that we would like to see kept in, in its pristineness. We should say that this is the Megan. It is the Megan, that's right. You've been fishing the, these rivers for years, haven't you, Morris? Yes, uh, yeah, I have. It's been... We don't want to give away your age at all or anything else like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> there he is. Yes. Whoa, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got it? Want to throw that wire? No barb on it, so it should come out really easy. Yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah, it's in the bottom as well. There, there you go. go. That's why. Okay. Are you ready for the release? Back Roy? to Mother Nature. You ready to let her go? Yeah. yeah, let's let her go. Okay. Oh, my lead. Let you go back to have your baby. Okay. Beautiful dog. Go. Look at that, go. eh? Oh, beautiful. Now getting back to flying this helicopter, uh, we had to go get fuel. Uh, and of course he was uh, also had to take us back to Tofino. So uh, he's in Gold River, that's where he fuels up and that's where he keeps his helicopter for VIL. Well, if you ever fished Gold River, sometimes you see this helicopter coming up the river. And uh, that's what we did. And of course, you know, the only way I could do it was I had to hang on to the bars like this here, I was in the back seat. And I had to pretend that I was in a video game as we went cruising through this canyon with the river just seemed to be just skimming above the river with the rotor blades. And the rotor blades seemed, you know, you're looking, geez, the rotor blades must be awfully close to the edges. And then he would do these tight turns and, uh, you know, so the chopper would bend a bit this way as it's doing his turns. And it was very, very 
frightful to say the least. But we made it through and we stopped and we got gas. And uh, we ended up heading back to Tofino. Doug Field, who was the owner of uh, Buzz Bomb and Zinger Lures, loved to fly helicopters as well. He uh, ended up getting a license up at uh, uh, B and E or E and B Helicopters up in uh, Campbell River, and uh, getting a small two-seat Robertson. I believe that's the name of the plane, and uh, it was a little, little, basically a little helicopter with a Volkswagen engine in it, and uh, and. In order to, when he when he bought it, one of the things was was he was going to be trained to fly, and he was trained and he got his license. So he wanted to take us helicopter fishing, and of course I ended up in one of the E and B's um, choppers. But my cameraman went in the small one with uh, with uh, Doug Field, and I'll tell you that was a great day because uh, we went into some of these rivers and. Uh, it was coho season and he wanted to show how great his little zingers, little wee red zingers and green zingers worked on coho. And uh, yeah, they did work very well. Lovely fish. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful fish. Yeah, really. Middle of October and he's wow. just a total cromer. You gonna tail him? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take care of them for you. So these uh, these zingers are, are have become pretty well internationally known, haven't they, uh, Doug? Pretty much. You got people keeping these a secret all over the world. These zingers, uh, people get them and they keep them as a kind of a secret weapon and win big derbies with them and. Yeah, what are what are some of the, their friends? Yeah, what are some of the uh, sport the sport fish that you know of that have been caught on on zingers? Uh, everything from three inch minnows right up to uh, swordfish. Swordfish? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Swordfish. Catching swordfish. them just like coho under the boat. Swordfish? Yep, yeah, swordfish. And Got they the catch fish. them just, they're, they're jerking them too. Yeah. Personally caught one. He's getting pretty tired now. We want to get him in as quick as possible because... Uh, I'd help him more with line. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to keep him off the rocks here. Drink it. Doug. What a pretty. Look at that, eh? Keep that zinger in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Look at the folks. That's with the zinger. Fire orange. And you're using the fire orange and uh, and the zingle hook. We'll explain that hook a little later, sure. too, for yep. people. Right. You can take that. Look at that for a beautiful fish, eh? That's a good 10 pounds there, Dougie. George. Shall we let him go nice here? Right. He's gone. Way to go. Hey, nice fish. So that's the start of it. We're on, we're on one of uh, the secret locations that you can get to by helicopter on Vancouver Island. This is the Release Doug's Fish Show. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far. Oh, so far. So far. Things can change. Well, things could change. They seem to like that color, though, don't they? Yeah, they like that fire orange. Yeah. I got three or four favorites, and uh, this is one of them. Yeah. That perch one you got on your rod is the other one. Is the other favorite. Yeah. Special. Listen to how quiet it is here. I mean, we're away from everything. The phone. Everything. I mean, you can't drive here. You can't fly here by airplane. And there's only the sound of this water. You could probably take three days to get and here. the by sound foot. of this fish. There he is. Look at that there. Perfect hook set too. Hey, look look at, we got someone with a fish on over there too. Uh, Brad's got a look at that. Double header. Nice fish. What do you think bit that? Well, it's a pretty wide mouth, isn't it? It, it sure looks is. like it's probably healed from a uh, killer whale or something like that. Yeah. Or see, you can see the tooth marks. You see the teeth marks right there? Yeah. It'd have to be something fairly large or a good sized seal too. Big seal maybe, yeah. Yeah. Good there he goes. <laughs> okay, Once buddy. Hour, buddy. <laughs> <Jake. laughs> nice going. Nice going. Show you. Yeah, just show. Just get. Show me. Okay, we we'll just cast that out. Cast that out. Okay. You got another fish on there? He's still playing. He's playing a sockeye over there. 
So what I want to do is... Do, do you let it sink very much first? Uh, I'm always in control of the rod and if I'm letting it sink, I'm not reeling very much. I'm just lifting and dropping so that I always got control. Oh, okay. Once I want to get it coming my way, I'll reel faster, but I'll always keep this action. And right you, now you're more going with the current, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, what I want to do here is give that a fairly brisk flick. Not very tall, like not a very long flick. Yeah. But a fairly brisk one, because that's your hook set if a fish does bite it. Kind of like a preset. Yeah. And then you follow through with it. But it needs that quick flick. And yeah. you have to give it the slack line after. If you don't give it the slack line after, you're not going to let the lure do its magic thing. And Okay, it's so it's a slack, a slack line that is making the lure do its magic yeah. thing. On the east coast of British Columbia is an inlet and it's called Butte Inlet. And it's just north of Campbell River and it cuts into the mainland of British Columbia. And at the head of that inlet is a river called the South Gate. On this particular day, my wife and I enjoyed a trip with E and B helicopters out of Campbell River to enjoy some fly fishing for Sea Run Cutthroat and Dolly Varden. It's pretty nice to go into an area that is untouched by humans but uh, well touched by wildlife. The scenery makes up for it. Yeah, you've had some bites. Yeah, I have. A little dolly. Is that what that is? That's a dolly. That's uh. a dolly pardon. <laughs> here, move back up here okay. a little bit. Yeah, that's a dolly pardon. And uh, this has we'll been. Uh, huh? this, this has been quite the day. Isn't this something else? I mean, Ed yeah. here. He goes over there with his zingers. He catches eight pounders over there. <laughs> and uh, we're here just enjoying ourselves. I mean, look at our backdrop. I know. Did you hear the avalanche? No, I didn't, no. no. Way, way back in the hills. But you know, you can have an avalanche way, way back and it just reverberates around. You can't really tell where it's at. It was a big boom. Big boom? Big boom. You may remember that in, in uh, 2020, there was a major landslide in Elliott Creek, which runs into uh, the south gate and uh, it deposited over 7.7 .7 million metric tons of debris that really devastated not only the river but the uh, estuary as well not good for wildlife and i'm sure glad we weren't in there at that particular moment well we're the only people in here and this is your fish right here yeah yeah uh, yeah that's a dolly that's a Dolly Pardon, or we can call it Dolly Pardon. Dolly Pardon. See the spots in yeah. here? That's what they're doing. So what we're going to do is just take that fly away. Okay, come on. Okay. Put that fly out. So you don't have to really touch them. So that water's it. pretty cold. Is that from the glacier? Look, 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 look at it, look at it. Uh, is that glacier water? Yeah. That's why it has that color, you know. Yeah. Now it's fairly cold. We go up another thousand feet and there's still lots of snow. It's not really melting that much. But when it warms up about another five degrees, this river will come up another foot and a half. Oh, really? Yeah. And it'll push all these fish out of here. Yeah. Hey, Gary, did you see the wolf tracks down there? No, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is wild country. Yeah. There's a fish carcass in these big wolf tracks. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the grizzlies aren't quite down from the hills yet, but you can come here in the fall. You'll see grizzly bears in here. Yeah, I believe yeah. it too. Yeah, they're still up in the hills. They're not that active. We saw, or did you notice the swans down the... When we were flying in? We were flying in. Did you see the goats on the side of the hill? No. Neither did I, but apparently you can. <laughs> a little bit of a problem here. When you got a fish like this here. Just to show you that. See the cutty? You see? You see how? You see the orange underneath this? See the orange slash underneath this gill plate there? See that? The slashes. Beautiful little cutthroat. And away he goes. Happy as can be. Well, look at that rod pound. Look at that way that rod's down. This is a nice size cutty here. It's a nice. Size. Oh, look at him! Look at him take off line on me there. Wow, this is a big fish though. 
I got a big fish on here, dear. Really? What I've been doing is casting up there. Yeah. Sort of. This is a big fish. I don't think they like my lure. Well, they will, dear. Hey, that's bigger than the rest, eh? This is a big fish. Yeah. I've had with every cast. Let her sort of drift down and then start bringing your lure slowly back this way. Okay. They like this little fly, you see. I, they're going after these. Whoa, wow, what a big fish. Oh, oh, you oh had shoot, one there? I had one. He spit it. You did? That's all right. Yeah, I'll go get him. See, this is just pristine water. These, you know, we were we flown in here by, by helicopter and, uh, you know, these fish are just aggressively feeding on all the salmon fry and what I've been doing is I'm using a little fly that represents the salmon fry and they're falling for it. They're really falling for the bait. They think, yeah, it's a easy pickings. They're just sitting here at the head of this pool waiting for the salmon fry to come down. That's a cutthroat, oh, isn't it? The, is reason, that a dolly? the reason that he, uh, this, is, this isn't a cutthroat, this is a dolly, Look, eh? Look, he's hooked at the side. Well, he's wrapped, it's wrapped right around him, so. Oh, okay. Here, hold on yep. my rod here. You see, like this here is, ah. is wrapped right around. There he there goes. Go. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah. The hook wasn't in him. It was wrapped around his dorsal fin and caught on the line.